When you think about it, this really does make sense. Storing files online is a really good thing to do. It doesn't do you any good when you don't store a file online and you can't get it from where you're at. It doesn't do me any good having all my music back on my desktop computer in the United States when I'm way over here in South Korea. Of course, there are things like flash drives, external hard drives, and other physical devices we can carry, but sometimes these things get lost or they break or we can't use them with certain computers. The idea of the cloud storage is all, that all of your files are out there real safe on the internet for you to access from all kinds of different locations. Now iCloud is set to launch this fall and it's going to work like this. Music, video, and picture files as well as emails and calendar appointments on iPods, iPhones, and iPads will automatically be backed up regularly to the cloud. Then that same content will be downloaded and pushed to any other Apple devices as well as a PC if you use one. Now here's a cool shot from yesterday's Apple conference posted on Engadget. This is one of the server sites in North Carolina where the data will be stored. If you need a concrete or physical visual of the cloud, this is it. Now everyone is going to be getting five gigabytes of space in the cloud. Book songs and apps that you buy in iTunes don't count against the space and it will even hold the latest 1,000 new pictures you took with an Apple device for free. And finally, here's something cool that's going to be rolling out this fall as well. It's called iMatch iTunes Match, rather. It will take the songs you already have and make a list of the ones that you already own in the iTunes Music Store. Then it will make the ones in the Music Store available on your devices. The good deal here is you won't have to take the time to upload everything, and the sound quality is great. All the songs that you already own will be matched with the iTunes Music Store, and then you'll have all access to those songs in the iTunes Music Store. It doesn't come for free, unfortunately. It will cost you 25 bucks, but still a pretty good deal. Now, we've posted some more links about iCloud on kevintalkstech.com for all those articles. You can hop over there. A lot of people, of course, talking about it even days later. We do have a piece on there, too, that you can read from Bloomberg about what the iCloud could mean for your cell phone bill. After all, backing up information takes data, and if your plan doesn't include unlimited data, it's a good question to ask. And, of course, you'll find all that information on kevintalkstech.com.